people get confused. They think they might think that Bitcoin is synonymous with blockchain or that every blockchain is like the Bitcoin network and that's not quite true. In the simplest terms, a blockchain or blockchain technology or the blockchain, it's just a digital ledger. So a ledger, it records things, it's a database. What makes this different from other technologies that we have and why people are so fascinated by blockchain is that it basically figured out a way to transact any type of data and do it securely um, and permanently. So it's this permanent record. There's all sorts of companies being built around blockchain. The medical field, health insurance, is looking at how we could streamline um, our medical data. You can use a blockchain to track the provenance of diamonds or fine art, um, wine. We have forgeries. We have this convoluted system of who has owned this thing, where does it come from? And the concept is if you put it on the blockchain and it cannot be altered, then you would be able to have this permanent record this sort of appetite for what it can be used for seems endless right now. But again, there's also this call to pull back on some of the enthusiasm until we understand uh, what this all really means a little bit better. One concern that some academics have about blockchain technology is um, it's all based on who's building the software. It's based on code. Um, you know, like anything else, it's the application layer of where this gets tricky and, uh, and, and complicated and convoluted. Blockchain is just a tool and it can be manipulated and tweaked uh, into, you know, really anything you want it to be. Because this is all highly unregulated and the standardization isn't there yet, anyone can attach blockchain to their company name, for example, but that doesn't mean anything in particular. And so that's where the confusion abounds. One of the most exciting uh, places where blockchain technology could be applied um, is the field of identity. It sort of aims to solve this major problem, which is, um, why do I have to give my social security number out when I want to open an internet account um, in my new apartment? Why do all these companies have all this information about myself? And um, what if they get hacked? So there is a concept that if we use blockchain technology to sort of create identity um, that is trusted, you hold on to your data and you are able to give it out to people only as, the, only as needed. And so maybe you wouldn't have to give all of your identity data over to your internet company or to sign up for a, you know, some service that you want to take part in. You would only have to give them exactly what they need and it would be trustworthy. And again, there's challenges to that as well. What if blockchain technology can be hacked? Uh, 20, 30 years from now. And so these are questions that, you know, a lot of these thinkers and, uh, are investigating. And so before we turn everything over to blockchain technology, there is this, uh, this period of reflection and of thinking about how this could all be used and manipulated in the future.